Assalamu alaikum. We are going to make the last component for our um, luscious lemon extravaganza. Um, we're making a lemon, a very tangy lemon cream cheese frosting. We're going to start with one cup or two sticks of butter. Please, please, please do not think that you can substitute margarine. It's not even real. Yeah. Use the high octane stuff. If yeah. you're going to go, go all the way. If you're going to splurge, splurge correctly. Splurge right. Yeah. Always the things that Allah gives us mm -hmm. that, that occur naturally um, are going to be better for our bodies than chemicals made in a laboratory. Yeah. So we get our one cup of butter. We're going to do a cup and a half of cream cheese. Do you want to yeah. swing that butter in there? Oh, there's, the there's our delicious lemon curd that we made. Here's the recipe. And we're going to use that again a little bit in our... Go ahead. Here's my trick. Put it against the side of the bowl. Showing, showing. And you just, it makes it so easy to you get the last little... You want to know how I do that? I go like this. When it's like that, I put it in half and then I go... Oh, <laughs> that's very clever too. Oh, I like that idea. <laughs> Very good. But then you end up with like butter hands. Butter hands. Well, butter fingers. Sometimes you need those. Yeah. So you added how much? How much cream cheese? That was a cup and a half of cream cheese okay. to a cup of butter. Okay. We're going to add just just a dab of our. We're adding the lemon curd a little bit for flavor, but we're going to add fresh squeezed lemon juice for flavor. We're really adding this for color. Okay. It's going to give it just a pale yellow tinge mm -hmm. by the time we're done adding everything in. Okay, we're going to start creaming that together before we add our lemon juice. Or else it'll be like a soupy, yep. sloppy slide. Soupy, gloppy mess. Yeah. We don't like those. this on a high heat or it'll hit you in the face. Yeah, yeah, turn the speed down or you're going to be breathing powdered sugar. Not a good thing. Yeah. Well, they're annoying, isn't it? <laughs> when all is said and done, we're going to be adding about two pounds of powdered sugar. Look surprised. Oh, two pounds of sugar. But with our two pounds of sugar, we are creating enough frosting for this cake and all those cupcakes. And probably a little more to boot. And I like a generous amount of frosting on my cupcakes. By ratio, half. So it's like cupcake, half frosting. Yep, actually, that's about what I do. A shocking amount of sugar I use on a daily basis. But as I said, if you're going to splurge, do it right. Do it, make sure you, if you're going to have a dessert, yeah, it should be a treat. You shouldn't eat dessert all the time, like Robin does. Yeah, I was going to say, um, <laughs> I'm not, do as I say, not as I do. But if you're going to have dessert, don't waste those calories and that, that treat on something that you're not really going to absolutely love. Get the best quality, most delicious dessert you can find when you're gonna splurge. And you're gonna find yourself that you, you don't splurge as often that way because you are more satisfied. I think this is gonna do it on the powdered sugar. Yeah, don't want it too much. You want it to be pretty thick not but not paste. Yeah. You don't want paste. Paste is not delicious on a cake. And the very last thing we're going to do after we get all of the powdered sugar incorporated is turn up the speed and whip some air into it. Whip it good. It's 
It's not too late to whip it. I think oh. that'll do. You know what? It's not crazy sweet. Like, I know we added tons of sugar, but it's not like... It, it does, it's not cloying. No, it's not like... Oh, that, it I doesn't never, give you a toothache on your first no. taste. No. <laughs> Maybe on the seventh. <laughs> I'll be like, comatose. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> I'll never sleep again. <laughs> There's so much energy inside. There's no one here. No, we, we There's off. no one here. I get distracted easy. Where am I going? Oh, now we just got it. Robin, what am I doing? Robin, Robin. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? I just got Jeez, I was stupid. I just I knew it was Robin and Batman, but I said her name's Robin. No, okay. <laughs> that's Michael. what I did. I I got. That's why I got it because people would say, "Who are you supposed to be?" And I'd say, uh, "You've Robin. known me for like five years. I'm Robin." <laughs> and Dad just figured it out. Bless his heart. <laughs> Bless his sweet little heart. Bless his sweet little heart. So we're um, going to spread our lemon mousse between the layers of our cake. Now, <laughs> typically we are, we're a little low on some of my kitchen equipment that I usually have. Mm -hmm. I like to pipe, um, use a piping bag I would, and a round tip and pipe a ring of, of the frosting mm -hmm. around the edge and that keeps the filling from like oozing out of your cake. Right, yes. And it contaminates, not a good word here, but it like uh, thins out your frosting. Um, if you don't do that, but we're going to try to keep it contained here. I'm going to throw some. You could maybe contain it with berries. Fresh, some fresh, fresh berries. Well, the fresh berries are actually going to start losing their water. That really sounds unappealing. <laughs> They're going to lose their water, and it's going to like create some juices, which sort of exacerbates that problem. Oh, and I'm so. putting them on the edge, so I'll put them in the center. Yeah, blueberries um, are going to be the least likely to create a, to wreak havoc on your cake. So, and blueberries are just fabulous with anything lemon. Mm, yeah, I agree with you. That is a weird berry. <laughs> Funky berry. Funky berry. So, yeah, that, that, berry that is, is going to help a little bit, I think, create a border. This is a black, this is a blueberry DMZ. Demilitarism. <laughs> <laughs> Stop eating the fruit! I'm feeling rather fruity. Fruity! Okay. Second layer on the top. Get in there. Look at all them blueberries. They're trying to jump ship now. Don't! You have so much to live for! This is why it happens. Yeah. This is why this is a family, right? <laughs> Our family is eating this. Uh. <laughs> the difference between homemade and professionally made. <laughs> I licked the spoon and kept using it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Which is why I just went and washed my hands. Oh, well. Okay, now we're going to... I'm not. Get down to business. To defeat Huns? Mm -hmm. Indeed. We will defeat Huns with deliciousness. Yes. We don't happen to have an offset spatula, do you? Mm. You're saying things. Would this work? Uh, actually, no. What about this one? Hey, that's a little better. <laughs> this is a little small for the job at hand. We got our crumb coat on, we added another thin layer of our lemon cream cheese frosting, and then we added um, a little bit of our lemon curd, this luscious, tangy lemon curd that we made. Gives our the top of our cake a nice glossy finish. Yeah. And it adds a lovely tang to the flavor. Yeah. So it's perfect just to for for looks and for and for taste. It is really just seriously. You have to try this. Please just try this. I can't recommend it enough. Um, and if you do, again, comment below, like, subscribe, um, check out her Facebook. All the links will be in the doobly do. Um, it's flipping great. Don't be intimidated by it. It okay. breaks down into several different parts. Check out the recipes. Don't be intimidated. Just make it. And yeah. you won't regret it. You're going to love it.
Thanks so much for watching. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Hee. I'm filled, filled with lemon cake. All the way to here.